sell your products online with your own e-commerce website. Hey guys, Rana here and by watching this video, you will learn how to create an online store with Google Sites for free where people can check out your products and purchase it. And this video for beginners, if you do not know anything about coding skills, don't worry, I'll walk you through step by step process how to create your own e-commerce website with Google Sites. And let's be honest with you, this is going to be a basic e-commerce website. If you're looking for advanced feature, you can check out my this video. You can find this video on my YouTube channel or in the video description. So before we start building this website, let's take a look at what kind of website that we are going to create in this video. Okay guys, so this is the website that we are going to create in this video. You can see this is a Google site, not anything like Shopify store or anything like that. This is an amazing website that we are going to create just inside the Google sites. In the top left section, you can see we have the logo and we have the title and you can see we have the menu area over here we have the drop down menu as well and bottom here you can see we have the slider images you can add as many images as you want the good thing about these images these images swipe automatically below you can see we have the text area new arrival search product bar below you can see we have all the products over here that you can add on your google site below here you can see we have the my account track order and shopping bag but their customer can use these button to go to their account or they can track their order or they can go to their shopping bag below that we have another banner over here and if you keep scrolling down we have the newsletter section your customer can subscribe to your website newsletter to receive an update about a new product arrive on your website which is amazing and below that you can see these are the icons i call them a trusted icons and this is the must have icon for every e-commerce website out there and below you can see we have the copyright section and we have some important pages for e-commerce website if we open any page for example let's open the contact us page so this is a contact us page your customer can contact you just by filling the contact us form and let's see the single product page let's go to clothing and here you can see this is the single product page your customer can add this product to their bag just by clicking on add to bag button go to checkout they can type their email click on checkout and your customer has to fill the details and complete the order once they complete the order your customer will receive an email notification like this also the admin of the website or you will receive an email notification at your email as well and there are several other features that we will explore along the way so without wasting more time, let's start building this website with Google Sites. Okay, to create an e-commerce website with Google Sites, perform a Google search for Google Sites and press enter. Open up the first website, sites.google.com. To start with a Google Site, you have to sign in with your existing Google account. If you don't have a Google account, you can create a new one just by clicking on create account button. To create a Google account, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm not going to waste your time and I believe you already have a Google account. So let's log in. Okay. So this is the Google site website here. Click on blank site and this is the backend of your website. In the middle of this area, you will see all the elements that you will add or that has been added on this website. In the right side, you will see three tabs, insert, pages and themes. You can use these tabs to customize or create your website. So first of all, We'll start by changing the Google Sites setting. Click on this gear icon. First, you can see we have the navigator. In the navigator tab, we have the mod color. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Next, we have the brand images. Here, let's upload a logo. Click on upload. So before we start this video, I wanna let you know that I've prepared some assets to build this website. If you want the similar assets like images, logo, you can check out the description box of this video and download all the assets. Anyways, so let's go to logo folder. I prepared two types of logo images. One is transparent and one is JPG image. So let's start with a transparent. Let's see how it looks and let's type the alt text. I'm going to call my stories cute pets, cute pets. Okay, next. We have to upload the favicon icon. Favicon means this type of icon that will appear on the tab over here. Favicon icons will appear on your website just like it. Okay, so I'm going to click on upload. I'm going to upload the same icon. Amazing. Let's look at the other tabs like viewer tools. You don't have to change anything over here. Custom domain. Later, you can add your own custom domain if you want. Otherwise, you can use Google Sites domain. Okay, 
analytics you can connect your google analytics with your google site if you want announcement banner you can add an announcement banner if you want so currently i'm happy with the settings all i can do is just close this out and you can see the logo over here amazing right Let's change the title of the site. I'm going to call it Cute Pets. Okay. Another way to change your logo, just by hovering your mouse over here, click on Edit Logo. This way you can also change your logo. Let's close this out. Now I'm going to remove this header section by clicking on the Delete Header. Now we have clean canvas. Let's start adding some blocks. First of all, I'm going to add this element, Image Carousel. Click on that. Now click on the plus icon and select Upload Image. I'm going to add banners. This banner, add at least two images. Let's add this one as well and then click on insert. Now scale this up. And there you go. We have the two images side by side. Now let's change the settings of this image carousel. Select the section, click on this gear icon and then click on this gear icon. Uncheck these two and check the auto start. Transition speed should be medium and click on update. Now let's adjust the size one more time like so. Great. You can always preview your changes just by clicking over here. So as you can see, we have two images over here. Amazing, right? Let's close this out. Exit the preview. Come back to the back end. Now let's add another section. Let's go to content blocks and add this block. Now I'm going to delete this one, this one as well. Now let's add image. Click on upload image and I'm going to add this one. Click open. Let's increase the size of the image. So we have good here. Let's add one more section just by clicking over here. I'm going to delete this one and this text area as well. Let's upload one more image. This time I'm going to add this one newsletter. Okay. After adding the image, we have to add the newsletter form over here that we'll add later on. But for now, let's create pages to do it. Let's go to pages. And here you can see by default, there is only one page home. Let's create a new one just by clicking over here and type the name of the page grooming. Click done. Now create a new page. I'm going to call it dog food. So I'm going to quickly add more pages and I'll come back once I done. Okay. So I've created some pages over here for my cute pet shop e-commerce website. Now I need to create some essential pages, which is very important for every e-commerce website like privacy policy, contact us, so on and so forth. So let me quickly create those pages as well and I'll come back once I done. All right. So you can see I've created the essential pages as well, like about us, payment method, shipping and delivery, refund and return policy, terms and condition, privacy policy and contact us. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can add the content inside your essential pages. Right now you can see there is nothing here. If I select the about us page, you can see there is nothing here. Inside the payment method, there is nothing here. But before I add the content inside each pages, let's customize these pages. Okay. Because right now all these pages are displayed over here in the menu area. First of all, let me hide these pages from the menu. To do it, let's click on this three dot alongside the page that you want to hide and then click on hide from navigation. So do it for each pages. Okay. After that, if you want to create a drop down menu, let me show you how you can do it. Just hover your mouse over any page and click on this three dot and click on add sub page. And now type the name of your sub page. I'm going to call it dog and then click on done. And again, click on the grooming add sub page. This time cat. If you go to advanced option, you can add custom path. If you want to, I'm not going to do it. Let's click on done. So you can see under the grooming, we have two types of drop down options over here, which is amazing. So this is how you create a drop down menu. Okay. So now let's add a content inside our essential pages. So first thing first, go to the description box of this video. You will find a link. That link will take you to the essential pages of e-commerce website. So copy the content for each pages one by one and paste inside your pages like in the about us paste the content that you will copy from my website and paste it over here. All you have to do, you have to replace the website URL with your own and the email address with your own. And that's the pretty much it. If you have some knowledge to create your own essential pages, you can create it by yourself, which will be a great idea. However, if you're just getting started with e-commerce website, you can copy my essential pages. All right. So let me quickly add the content on each pages except on this one contact us 
because here we will add a contact form a special contact form that your visitor can fill in to contact you okay so let me quickly add the essential pages content by the way to add a content select the page go to insert and click on text box and add the content over here i'm gonna align this you can use this tool to customize your text okay for example if i want to align this i'm gonna highlight the text and by the way this is a heading and this is the section where you can change the font and this is the size of the font bold italic underline and you know this is the basic stuff so to align this i'm gonna click over here and i'm gonna align it to center and then i'm gonna press enter to go to the next line now i'm gonna paste the text again i'm gonna highlight the text and i'm gonna align this to center amazing right you can add more content if you want you can add a button if you want like you can add a button over here i'm gonna call it contact us and here i'm gonna add a link i'm gonna link this button with the contact us page and then click on insert let's align this to center and then drag and drop this button over here maybe you can add this button inside this section let's add a one more button and i'm gonna call it shop now and the link section i'm gonna insert the home page and click insert let's align this one as well let's drag and drop this button on the top over here maybe right about here that's fine so you can spend some time and customize it however you like you can add social media links if you want so this is how i created my about us page let's go to pages so i'm gonna quickly add more content into these pages so i'll come back once i'm done all right guys so you can see i've added the content inside each essential pages as you can see okay the only thing we left with this contact us form so select the page and we're going to add a contact us form over here so for that perform a google search for google forms and open this website google forms and open up this website docs.google.com slash forms and here make sure you select this form contact information select the form so you can see we have three tabs over here we have the questions first of all let's click on got it in the questions tab we have these sections over here that we can add or remove okay in the responsive tab when someone fill the contact us form you will get all the responses over here that you can reply directly from here okay let's go back to the questions first you can see we have the title you can change the title if you want i'm gonna call it contact us we have the form description you can leave it as it is next with the name email and address i'm gonna remove this address section I'm going to click over here and I'm going to remove it just by clicking on this delete button. Next, I have phone number. I'm going to remove this one as well. The only thing I left were the comment and email and name. Okay. Under the settings tab, you don't have to change anything unless you know what you're doing. If you're just getting started, leave these settings as it is. So now we are going to add a free add-on that will allow us to receive an email notification when someone fill in this contact us form. Okay. To add that add-ons click on this three dot and then click on get add-ons now come over here and search for email notification email notification for google forms so install this email notification for google forms by digital inspiration click on that since i already have installed this email notification but in your case you will see the install button install this email notification form and you are good to go let's close this out and we are done here let's go back to your google sites Select your contact us page, go to insert tab, scroll down and select forms. Now select the form that we have created. You can see this form right here, contact us, click on that and then click on insert. Now scale this form up. So we're gonna keep this much portion of this contact us form. So once you add your contact us form in your Google sites, let's change the settings of the email notification add-on. To do it, let's go back to your Google Forms and here click on this add-ons and click on email notification for Google Forms and enable email notifications. You can see it says working in the bottom right you will see a pop-up screen and here you have to create a new rule just by clicking on add new rule. Now type a rule name I'm gonna call it contact us. Now type your email address where you like to receive the email notification. Now scroll down in the sender name type your website name. Now scroll down now check this box 
notify from submitter and select email from the drop down scroll down and click on save rule and there you go now you will receive an email notification when someone submit this contact us form on your google sites so we are done with this page now let's look at the themes tab but first of all let's go to home page so in the themes tab you can see we have different types of theme you can select any theme that you like so i'm gonna select this one and we are good here so you can see the immediately design has changed so now i'm going to insert some blocks over here i'm going to add this block and here i'm going to add some icons let's click on the plus icon let's upload icons this is my trusted icons folder i'm going to add all these icons one by one okay below i'm going to add some text like free shipping no question asked return policy and here i'm going to type something like email us type your email and then i'm going to select the email i'm going to bold it just by clicking over here and i'm going to click over here that's it now in the right side i'm going to type something like worry free shopping so that's it next i'm going to change the background color click over here and style 3 so if you're not happy with the background color you can do one thing you can add image go to this section image select or you can upload your own image if you want and here you can search the image come over here and search something like black search select the black color select this image click select and there you go and you can click over here you can see it automatically merge the image with your icons which is amazing next i'm going to add a footer area click on add footer first thing first i'm going to add a copyright section once you do it and then highlight align this to center and now press enter come to next line and now we're going to add the essential pages inside our footer area to add essential pages you have to type the name of the page about us and then highlight click over here select your about us page and then click on apply and there you go now press comma now add another page privacy policy highlight the text click over here select your privacy policy page and click apply so in the similar way add all your essential pages inside your footer area so i'm gonna quickly add all those pages and i'll come back once i'm done all right guys so you can see i've just added these pages inside my footer area you can make them bold it's all personal preferences so we are done with the footer area so now we're going to add the newsletter form to add a newsletter form open a new tab and type in this url and it will take you to this website brevo and here click on sign up for free let's sign up with google account select your google account and click continue i'm going to click on accept all cookies now type the address zip code city and your country click next now complete this questionnaire and select yes and check this box and click next type your phone number and complete your verification process so that way you will create your account since I already have account i'm going to log in with my existing account on brevo okay so this is my brevo account once you have created your own account with brevo.com go to app.brevo.com and inside your dashboard you will see the contact section in the left hand side click on that and then click on forms and here click on create new subscription form type the name of the form i'm going to call it cute pets by the way we have to go through six steps to create this contact form so in the step 1 we have to name the form click next in the step 2 we have to design the form you can use these elements these are the drag and drop elements you can drag and drop anywhere you like or you can delete any element just by clicking on this red delete icon okay very simple spend some time and design your newsletter form however you like once you're happy with your form click next so this says we strongly recommend you to use recaptcha confirmation to prevent spam bot from adding fake data to your list so this is just a recommendation you don't have to worry about this scroll down and here you can see we have a list these are my pre-built list and you can create a new one just by clicking on create new list type the name of the list i'm going to call it cute pets select the folder your first folder and click on create list and then click next now we are inside the fourth step which is settings here you can select any confirmation method i'm going to select the no confirmation email 
with that when someone subscribe to your newsletter they won't receive any confirmation email in order to subscribe to your newsletter form however it's all up to you you can select the single confirmation or double confirmation email sent to your subscriber okay so currently i'm going to select no confirmation email click next so these are the messages that you can change by default these are the good one i'm not going to change them once you make any changes don't forget to click on next and now you can see we can embed this form using these iframe html or simple html in google sites we will use html text so select html and scroll down and select the entire code click once and copy it go to your google sites now here double click alongside this section or wherever you like and click over here embed select embedded code paste the code over here and then click next now insert and now you can see the newsletter form right over here you can scale it down or you can scale it up however you like let's adjust this image there you go let me scale a bit more just like it so now we are done with the newsletter form as well the only thing we left with the products that's this is the one that you are waiting for let's start adding products into our google sites to add a products open a new tab and type in this url runnersvfx.com/equate and press enter and you will land on equate.com now click on get started for free so this is the platform that we will use to add a product on our google sites so now you have to create an account on equate.com you can use social media accounts or you can type in your email password or your name okay so i'm going to type in my name and email and my password and click on set up your store which is completely free you don't have to pay anything guys so now we have to go through the four steps in the step 1 you have to type the store name and your country and your currency i'm from india i'm going to select indian rupees click next type your city state and zip code and click next in step 3 you have to answer these questionnaire i'm just getting started what type of products will you be selling pet care are you setting up a store for someone else no click next do you already have a website yes select the website platform other and over here i'm going to type google sites and click next now it will pop up the plans of equate.com you can click over here to see all the features so you can see currently we are using a free plan but there are venture business and unlimited plan once you start growing your business with google sites then you can consider upgrading your equate account with any of these plans okay but for now if you're just getting started i want to test out equate.com start with a free plan so we have selected the free plan you can see it says it's your current plan now if you go to the dashboard you can see the account creation is done but there are several steps that we have to complete before completing those steps we have to set up our equate account let's go to settings you can see we have several tabs over here store profile regional settings cart and checkout tracking and analytics in the store profile you can type in the store name which is already there next we have the company name i'm going to call it cute pets you can type in the phone number if you want otherwise you can leave it as it is street address scroll down you can type in your social media handles over here if you want once you're done with your store profile you can click over here save let's go to regional settings and here you can see you can change literally anything your currency size and weight for your product type and the store language date and time each and everything by default these are the good one let's go to cart and checkout and this is the very important settings guys make sure you enable ask for zip postal code or ask for billing address during checkout these two things should be enabled okay rest of things are good here you don't have to change anything when you see this type of button upgrade to add a custom field or something like that these features comes with the pro plan or paid plan if you're just getting started like i mentioned before free plan is more than enough okay let's click on save go to tracking and analytics in the analytics or tracking area you can add google analytic id over here if you want to connect your google analytics account with equate just add your google analytics id over here 
And if you want to track your conversion with Facebook ads, with Facebook manager, just add the pixel ID over here and the Pinterest tag over here if you want. So basically this tab is for tracking and analytics report. Okay, nothing much. Click on save changes. If you make any changes, that will keep your changes saved. Okay, or you can do just by clicking on control S. So we're done with the settings area. Let's scroll down. Let's go to shipping and pickup. This is another important settings. So here you can see we have the shipping, local delivery and self pickup. Let's go with shipping. So as you can see, I'm from India. There is a two popular delivery option, India Post and delivery. You can also search the carrier just by typing the name over here. Okay. And that carrier will pop up. So I'm going to select delivery, set up delivery and I'm going to select free shipping. The name of the shipping will be free shipping. So free shipping text will be fine. Click on save and finish. Okay. So we're done with the shipping. Let's go back. Let's go to payments tab. So in the payments tab, you can see we have several types of payment gateway that we can enable. We can add Stripe, PayPal, PayU and more. Okay. By default, pay by cash is enabled. In India, we call it cash on delivery, COD. I'm going to keep it as it is because later in this video, I'll show you how to fulfill an order when someone place an order on your website. Okay. But I'm also going to enable PayPal. To enable PayPal, click on connect PayPal. It will open PayPal website. So I'm going to type in my email next. So it says you already have account. So I'm going to click on login. So click next. So let me quickly log in. So once you log in into your PayPal account, scroll down, click on agree and connect. So guys, if you don't have a PayPal account, create a new one. Make sure you have a business PayPal account if you want to add the PayPal payment gateway inside your Equid account. Anyways, it says thanks for signing up. Click on go back to Equid. All right. So you can see that it says connected. That means we are good to go. So we're done with the settings and we're done with the shipping and we're done with the payments. Now it's time to add products. In order to add a product, go to catalog and products. So guys, here you can see we have different types of products. These are the sample or dummy products. You have to delete them by checking this box. It will select all of them. And then you have to simply click on delete all sample products button and it will delete all of them. But I'm going to keep it as it is. Save for this video tutorial. I'm going to uncheck. If you want to add your own product, click on add new product button. And here you have to upload the image of the product. Click on upload image. So I'm going to upload all these images and click open. Now type the name of the product and then type the weight to kg. And below you can type the description, add some text and then press enter. Come to the next line. You can add images if you want or videos or you can use literally any element from this section okay you can add text you can make this text bold italic underline anything so i'm going to insert some images browse okay so i've added the image let's align this click over here align the center so i'm going to add some more text okay so basically you can add some text images and create your beautiful product description in the right side i'm going to add the price 2000 rupees indian rupees next we're done with the general tab. We have the attributes. In the attribute, you can add a brand name, UPC. I'm going to leave it as it is. Option. You can add options like small, medium, large. So in this case, this product doesn't need any options or variation. Okay. Files. This is not a digital product. But however, if you want to sell a digital products using Equid, you have to buy paid plan. Okay. Shipping and pickup. Here. We already enabled shipping. This is the weight and I'm going to select free shipping or you can use your store shipping method. Okay. But currently I'm going to use free shipping text. Leave it as it is SEO in SEO section. You cannot change anything unless you have paid plan related products. You can enable related products just by clicking on the enable button. And here you can add as many products as you want. By default, there is a five random product from your catalog. You can add a new one just by clicking on add product and select any product from here. Click on add product. Next, we have the buy now button. If you want to embed this product on any single page, you can embed this product just by clicking over here. But we are not going to do this right now. But I'll show you how you can do this in a moment. But for right now, we're done here. 
Once you make all these changes, click on save button. So with that, we are done creating a product on equit.com. Let's go back or you can click over here, products. And here you should see your product right here. You can see. Now we're going to add all those products in a bulk inside our Google Sites. To do it, let's go to overview in the left hand side. And here you can see a button right here, custom website. Click on that. Now click on copy to clipboard. Now copy this code. Now go back to Google Sites. So now I'm going to select the top section. And here I'm going to click on embed, embedded code. And I'm going to paste the code that I just copied and click next and then click on insert and now there you go you will see a magic right here you will see all your product inside your google site but all you need to do is you need to increase the size so i'm going to quickly increase the size like that all right guys so you can see we just added all the equipped products inside our google sites so this is the product that we have created and this is a gif image you can see that and we have this my account button, we have tracking order, we have shopping back. Now we're going to add a search product tab. Let's go back to your equid.com and scroll down. You can see the product search box. Click on add product search box, copy the code, come back to your Google sites, select the top section, embed, embed code, paste the code, next, and then click insert. Now scale it down. You can move this right over here. Let me adjust this one like so. Now, let me drag and drop this product search over here and I'm going to add some text box. I'm going to change it to heading and I'm going to call this new arrival and then I'm going to make it bold, align this to center and then I like to drag and drop this over here. Maybe I think I need to scale it down and let's drag and drop this over here like so. I can change the background color like so. Amazing. Let's change the background color of this section as well. And let's go with white color. All right, guys. So you can see we have created this beautiful website with Google Sites. So as you know, this is a drag and drop website. So once you're done with your website, all you have to do, you can click over here, preview to preview your site. All right, guys. So you can see we have logo, we have the menus, we have the banner over here, and we have the new arrival section product search section and we have these dummy products with our original product let's open this product and you can see this is our beautiful product page as you can see and these are the related products below here if someone click on the show mode button they can see the preview right here this is just like a shopify store so you don't have to spend any money on shopify store if you don't have a budget you can start with google sites and get similar look of Shopify for free. This is the beautiful store that you can create with Google Sites. By the way, all the images and assets that I've used on this website will be available in the video description so that you can use it on your own website. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how you can add a single product on any page. Let's exit the preview section. Let's open any page. For example, let's add this one, clothing. There's nothing here. Let's go to insert. Let's add this block. Delete this one and this one as well. Now go to equid and here go to catalogs, products. Right click, open link in a new tab. Select the product that you want to add on any page. Let's select any product. Go to buy now button. Click on embed product. And here you can select any type of layout. Right side you will see the preview. So I'm going to select this one full size two column. Click on generate code. Let's copy the code. Let's go to your Google Sites. Now click on embed under the insert tab. Click on embed code, paste the code and click on next and then click on insert. Now drag and drop this over here. You can remove this one as well if you want. Let's scale it up. So scale this product page as much as you want. So this is how you can add a single product on any page that you like. Let's go back to pages tab and click on home. And with that, we are done with our site. Now click on publish button to publish your site. Now type your website address. I'm going to call it cute pets. So it says it's already taken. What about cute pet? It is already taken cute pets. Let's see this one. This is available. 
However, you can add your own custom domain if you want. But right now, your site address will be sites.google.com slash view slash cute pets. Okay, pets, whatever it is. And click on publish. And with that, your site is published. Let's view your site just by clicking on this drop down button and click on view publish site. So you can see this will be your site. Press enter. So let's open this website in a new private window. Alright guys, so this is our site in a private window or in a different browser. So now let's pretend as a customer and try to buy this product. Select the product, click on add to bag and click on go to checkout. So you can see this is the total price and this is the shipping. Your customer has to type the email. They can proceed to the checkout by clicking on the checkout button. And over here, they have to fill in the details like first name, last name, phone number, their billing address. Okay, so let me quickly fill in the details. Once you fill in the details, click continue, no thanks. And here, your customer has to select the shipping method, free shipping, click on continue. Now, your customer will see the payment method. As you know, we have enabled the PayPal as well. Your customer can pay this amount via PayPal or pay by cash. As you know, in India, we call it cash on delivery. So I'm gonna select the second option and click on place order. Once your customer place an order on your website, they will see this type of message. Thank you for your order. Order confirmation and update will send to this email. Let's go to this mailbox. So you can see we received this email from our Google sites. And here you can see it says fulfillment status awaiting processing. And this is the full detail about the product. Amazing, right? When someone place an order on your Google site, your customer will receive an order as well as the admin of the website will also receive an email notification at their email address. So as you can see, this is the admin email. Let me validate. And don't forget to validate your Equate account just by clicking on the validate email button. And inside your Equate account, you will see this type of notification as well. One order not paid needed to be shipped. Select it or you can go directly under sale orders. And here you will see your order. Click on that. And here you can change the status to whatever you like. Once you ship your product, you can select the status to ship. When you change the status to ship, let's open your customer email. And here you can see your customer received a new email notification. Order has been shipped, which is amazing. When the delivery boy receive a payment, you can change the payment status to paid. And with that, your customer will receive a new email notification according to whatever order status you changed. Okay, so that's it. So this is the best way to create an e-commerce website with Google Sites. Don't forget to explore more features of Equid.com. Amazing platform, guys. Use it for free. Once you're satisfied with Equid.com, consider upgrading your Equid account. Anyways, lastly, all the links will be in the video description. If I skip something, don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. I'll answer your questions as quickly as possible. That being said, goodbye. Till then, I'll see you guys next time.